Hello, I'm Elton Crawford and I am back to show you some of the ease of uses of actually using the Volvo 2016 or 17 XC90. Now what I mean by ease of use is behind a steering wheel how easy is it going to be for you to access different things such as the windshield wipers. If you wanted to listen to a different radio station how easy will it be to access that. So give me one second. I'm going to go around to the other side and take a look. Bear with me. As I'm walking around, I'll give you a wide shot or a rear view, as I always like to do, so you can actually have an image of the exact vehicle in which I am this I have on display. So this one's actually going to be your metallic white to go along with your amber interior. Now, of course, with Volvo, you have a blonde interior, black interior, then you get the amber interior. So as we go around to the other side, sorry if I gave you major seasick there, went rather fast. This is the amber interior to go along with the black and the wood grain. Now, of course, we're here for ease of use. Some of the biggest questions we actually get is how easy will it be to use the automobile? And there's an article going around now that actually says that most people especially baby boomers, people with slight, a slight age difference um, that are not happy with their vehicle simply because they don't quite understand it fully. So as you're in the driver's seat, as you can see here, this is going to be your view of the dash. And of course, as I continue to go right, that's just your dash, your glove compartment along the bottom there. So not much to see over there. We're primarily going to focus behind the steering wheel. So as you're here to get started, you're actually going to put your foot on the brake. And we're going to take the start-stop knob or engine knob here. We can switch to the left. I had the vehicle running. Sorry about that. So foot on the brake, and I'm going to take it and actually spin to the right. That turns the vehicle on. So while the vehicle is actually turned on, you can actually see your gear shift here, air conditioner controls, I'm sorry, radio or entertainment controls along the bottom. You do have some air conditioner controls here along with your emergency light. Um, and up top, looks like an iPad, does it? Which is exactly how I'm making this video. But that is actually your entertainment section in your dash here. Sturden wheel with the sturden wheel controls along the front of the sturden wheel and turn signal windshield wipers windshield wipers off to the right with the rear windshield, rear windshield wiper control on the very tip and that would not be turn signals and windshield wipers that would actually be your lighting things of that nature so as you're behind the steering wheel of course we've already shown you the press the brake turn the start stop knob and we're just turning that to actually uh, start to turn over the engine and get the vehicle ready to go once we're here for most of us the first thing we actually want to do is adjust the air conditioner so if you actually look here, air conditioning controls for the Volvo XC90 is going to be along the bottom. If it's rear defrost or front defrost, I can press either of the two buttons here. Of course, it's 90 degrees on this September day, so we definitely don't need that. To adjust my interior temperature, I can use any of the buttons along the bottom here. Uh, this is actually where I want the air to flow. And I'm going to turn that back on head and chest, as you can see there. Now, if you turn that completely out, it just disperses it in all areas. But I'm going to put it on head and chest because it is quite hot outside. Here's my fan going across the middle. Automatic climate control. Maybe it's a colder day. I can actually press here. There's my heated seats and also heated steering wheel. So I can turn that on and off. And if I want it to adjust that temperature, I can actually adjust it accordingly by pressing 64. And of course closing. Now I've adjusted my temperature and I'm comfortable. Keep in mind as well when adjusting the temperature, you can also adjust the rear from the front here, or you can actually do voice command. Set temperature to 65 degrees. Temperature set to 65 degrees. Voice command, or you can do it manually from the screen. Makes it a little bit easier to actually maneuver around and get the exact climate you're looking for. So as I'm going along, my time is in the top right hand corner of my center screen and directly behind the steering wheel 
when you're looking forward. Now, very important because most people live by the clock. If you do, you have it in both areas here. Once you're actually started, you have your climate in the right position. Off to the left, if it's nighttime, that's actually quite simple. I can take this and you can actually see the word auto there. I can put my lights in automatic mode. Now, they're all set, ready to go. They come on and off depending on the outside temperature. And of course, turn signals is gonna be in that same area. When I come back and I actually go to the right side, as I mentioned before, this is actually gonna be the windshield wiper area. Now, I can adjust it manually simply by going up or down, or I can take this one section here, you can see where the little raindrop on the windshield there. Take that one section, press, and now they're automatic. And if you look right to the left at the time, you can actually see that little sensor right up on the little road there. That is actually the same thing, windshield wipe, uh, windshield with a wiper and also the raindrop. So, windshield wipers put in automatic position, lights put in automatic position. From here, whether it's night or day, we're completely ready to go. On the side, you have your mirrors. You can press down on right or left, and of course, shift your joystick here, I like to call it, left or right, to maneuver your mirrors. Once you have those in the right place, of course, windows up and down, that's pretty standard among all cars, same operation. Review mirror, it's kind of bright outside, so just kind of bear with me, there we go. Review mirror, I love this because it's the endless review mirror going around the side, you don't have a little black rim on the side, kind of hard for you to see, but walk with me. Um, from here, your only other option, of course, if you wanted to open and close your sunroof, that's no biggie there. That tends to be in the same area for most vehicles, reacts the same. So once we're actually off and rolling, we're going to press the brake pedal as a safety feature and gear shift, we're going to shift into drive. Now, of course, it has an explanation there, which is park, reverse, neutral, and drive. If I shift to the left, that's sport mode, or I can shift my gears manually. Now, for the sake of actually going, and I apologize to you, in the XC90, that is manual mode only. In the other Volvos, that is actually sport mode, with exception of the Volvo S90. So that is manual mode, which is going to allow me to shift my gears manually. Otherwise, I can just leave it in drive, and that is actually automatic. Once I'm in the drive, and I'm going to shift back to park to actually show you, if we go back to the center dash behind the steering wheel, I can actually bring that down, reverse, neutral, and drive. So once I'm in the drive, I can actually see where the D is the brightest and it's highlighted. If I shift to manual, I get first gear there and it actually shows manual two, or manual minus plus. I can shift back to drive. There again, the D is highlighted. So I'm ready and I'm off. Now for the sake of us actually sitting here now, once I get in the cruise, that's gonna be all in the on the steering wheel here. Uh, this is going to be plus or minus. That's going to be accelerating or slowing down. The one in the middle is going to be set in the cruise. So you do have that to actually play with. This is going to be solely for entertainment. This is going to be how you answer and select those calls. And then, of course, this is going to be navigating your entertainment as well as voice control, things of that nature. Now, when you go to the center deck itself, this is going to be your reset button. So as we're going along, we've already got our air adjusted. We can put it on automatic, so now it's automatically gonna keep us at 65. We don't have to worry about heated seats. It's 90 degrees outside. So I can actually come back to the center screen. As I'm sitting here now, keep in mind, I can do everything by voice that I actually need to do. Satellite radio, regular radio, switch to my station, song to song, all things of that nature. I can also use it to make my phone calls. But if I'm going along and I wanna do everything manually, I can come here with their center screen. So I'm going to roll up a little bit because I'm all the way back and I'm actually having to tiptoe in order to reach the brake pedal. Not because I'm short, simply because it's a European vehicle. They give you maximum space up front. We're going to shift back to park. And if I come here, ease of use for a Volvo. Much like your iPad, you heard me actually mention that before. Let me get a better grip, slight adjustment here. So if I wanted to go into navigation, these are my quick access points. I can just press navigation. Now I'm using the reset button on the bottom. There's my entertainment, telephone, 
and of course driving performance. Now the only one of these selections or quick access points that you can actually change is the driver performance or the very bottom one. You can actually change that to give you different information perhaps you're not so keen on how the vehicle is performing so you can switch that up a bit. Now if you wanted to make your adjustments perhaps um, the lane change assist you don't like it when it chimes or you don't want the sensors to chime or beep when you're backing up or pulling forward into in, a, in and out of your garage. Maybe you actually view that as being um, a distraction. So you can actually take it and shift from swipe from right to left or left to right. Once you do that, I can pull up my camera at any time. I can go back, I can fold down my rear headrest for better viewing. As you can see as well, you got your fog lamp with corner illumination. So I can do all of these things. And of course, you've heard of that start-stop feature, which some people like, some people don't, when you come to a complete stop with your foot on the brake. Press here, and that turns it off. Also, the lane departure warning that I just mentioned. When you drift in and out of your lane, or if you drift close to those lines, you don't want that irritating sound to go off to warn you. You can turn that off as well. So a lot of your driving features, which are there, you can turn on and off. Now if I swipe from right to left, that takes me back to the main screen, right to left again, that takes me to my entertainment portion. Now here, I can switch FM, series, AM, my radio favorites, Bluetooth if I wanted to program a phone or go into my phone mode, um, auxiliary, iPod, USB, you can tell those two are not lit because we don't have anything currently plugged in or connected. You can read your messages, by the way, you can have them read to you and you can also give feedback or send messages back verbally. In addition to that, driver performance, remote updates, and navigation. Now, once you're done there, you can press your reset button. Remember, climate control is along the bottom, left to right, a lot of your driving elements, which you can shift, right to left, main screen, right to left, takes you back to your entertainment, and reset, of course, is on the bottom. And you're probably wondering, Surely you can't do all the settings of the vehicle from the stern wheel or behind the stern wheel. Well, that's simple as well. Just take it and pull down. And from there you have all of your car messages. Anything, any message that the car will ever need to relate to you, it's going to show behind the stern wheel here. So when it comes time for service, window washer fluid low, things of that nature, it's always going to show behind the stern wheel. And something that may be quite helpful as you're driving along. Now, you see the white space here? What you can see, because I'm filming here, is it actually says speed limit 45 miles per hour. Every road that you may go on, Volvo or your Volvo should not have a problem actually telling you the exact speed limit on that road. If we shift back to the center, once we're actually rolling along, Volvo on call, we'll touch base on that a little bit later. That's staying connected with your vehicle. Anything that I need to do there, I can press it any given time. And I can actually sign up for service if I don't have it. Or I can see actually how long my service is until it actually exhausts itself. Uh, in addition, owner's manual right up top. Anything that you need to learn about the vehicle, it's going to be right up under. I'm going to hit the reset, pull back down. It's going to be up top. You have your driver performance manual and you have your settings. So if it's anything that you needed to set on the vehicle that you may need to, that you don't currently like, uh, maybe the lighting display or what's actually showing on the display, including that fourth box on the bottom, which is driver performance, you can actually take it, pull down and go into settings as well. Now, as you can see, my car sound, navigation, media, communications, climate, system, they're all there. So anything at all you actually want it to control, you can definitely pull down on your pull down box and of course hit settings in the top left corner. And from there, if I wanted to connect my phone or Bluetooth, I can actually just go in, Bluetooth, and you can see there's a phone connected, surprisingly. Someone did a demo and connected the client's phone. So within saying that, I can go in and I can actually set up the phone or I can actually connect to the Bluetooth or the internet services of your current cell phone. So I'm going to zoom out and let's just say we have all of our current settings because this is our second or third time driving the vehicle. We have our climate set. We have a good understanding of how to use our center console and everything along the steering wheel. So at this point, we would be off and driving. So definitely enjoy your Volvo XC60. And tune in later because I will have more scenarios, 
more how-to videos on controlling your Volvo XC90. And you probably heard me say 60 along the way. Of course, as I do this from day to day, I can get different models kind of meshed together. But this is the Volvo XC90 and controlling it behind the steering wheel while driving on a day-to-day -day basis. So enjoy your vehicle and I will be back with you shortly.